Hello everyone, today we're going to be working on these two PCBs that have been sent in and this is a relatively simple job. What we're going to be doing today is transferring the BIOS chip from one of these PCBs to the other and then from the other to this one for data recovery. Now we don't have the entire hard drive with us so we can't test this, we've just been tasked with this particular job because the BIOS chip needs transferring so as the customer can recover his data off of his hard drive. So if we take a look at the sheet that we sent in with it, You'll see that it says here, Hi Phil, as per our phone conversation, can you move the chip highlighted in yellow from the old PCB to the new one? So we're going to do that, and I just thought I'd make a video on it because I've never done anything like this before, and I just thought it would make an interesting video just in case anyone needs the information to actually perform this task themselves. So it might be a relatively boring video to a lot of people, but this is a very important task because the customer needs to be able to recover his data and I've actually got a hard drive in the workshop which needs the exact same thing but I've been too busy to find a replacement board so one day I might do an actual video where I can actually test it but for now we're just going to do it on this one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap the PCB I'm assuming that this is going to be the donor board so as you can see the SATA connector has been completely ripped off now, if the customer had contacted me and asked me to replace the SATA connector, I'd have probably been able to help him, but unfortunately this one's been severely damaged, so that's not going to be an option anyway. So what we need to do is just transfer the chip from here to here, and that should allow the customer to use a new PCB with his hard drive, and that way he can get his data back. Okay, so to remove the chip, I've got my hot air set to 440 degrees Celsius and an F level 30%. And first of all, I'm going to add a little bit of flux. And I want to try and minimise the amount of heat that's being put onto these. So what I'm going to do is replace the solder that's on there with some leaded solder. And what that will do is it will change the composition of the solder that's on there and lower the melting temperature required to actually perform this job and you could mix it with low melt solder to remove it but I don't think it's necessary to use low melt solder okay there we go so that's leaded solder on there so let's move that out of the way and let's move this one into focus and let's do the same for this one so this is the customer's board now, the one he needs the chip from. This is the one that's got all of the data to work with his drive. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is just use some hot air and get this chip removed. So this is a very thin board, it's not going to take much to actually remove this chip as you see. Literally a couple of seconds there and that's removed. Let's get that board out of the way. Let's get this board in focus. So this is the new board. Move that one out of the way. Okay, so the donor board is ready and prepped. And let's just have a look. And yep, I thought it was. That was the wrong way.
Alright, and that board is ready. So this is the customer's new board with the SATA connector on. And even though the customer's only technically wanting that one, I'm going to put this chip onto... I'm going to put this other chip onto the old board and basically what that's going to do is it's going to allow the customer to reuse this because I'm assuming that they've probably got the hard drive to this at home so they can reuse this connector at some point if needed and it gives me a chance to show you doing it this way as well so we can also do this by hand we can just do that And that is very slightly out of line. Now that wouldn't matter because it would still work. But what we can do is just use some hot air. And surface tension will pull that in. Grab and hold and done. And that's pretty much it. So literally all that's left to do is just to use a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and a toothbrush, give these boards a good clean, make sure there's no flux on them. And same for the now working board or what should be a working board. Now the customer is fully aware that I can't give any kind of warranty on this. The chip is installed correctly and that's as far as I can go. But the customer is aware because I, I'm not able to verify it, I can't give any warranty on it because I don't have the hard drive as well. But that is obviously something that they're not comfortable doing, otherwise they would have sent the hard drive with it. Uh, it's not a problem, I'm not charging much for this job. So uh, for now, that's as good as it's going to get. So let's just summarise on this one then. So this was sent in because the PCB was damaged and all that we've been tasked to do is to replace the BIOS chip from a donor board or rather from the customer's board onto a donor board. So as this donor board will now work with the customer's hard drive because the BIOS chip on the hard drive is encrypted to that drive and we're not going to be able to read data without the matching BIOS chip. So by swapping that chip over it allows us to perform data recovery on hard drives that have got a bad pcb but that's going to be it for this video thank you very much for watching if you do have any comments or questions leave them down in the comment section down below i will always do my best to answer them and if you want to organize your own repair there'll be contact details in the video description if you like what you see and you want to see more repair videos be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on bell notifications so that you're notified every time that i upload and if you like what i do and you want to support the channel then you can do that for as little as £1.99 per month just click on the join button below this video and you can become a channel member. All channel members get early access to all of my videos. But that's going to be it for this one. Thanks very much for watching and until next time, see you later. Bye for now.